Good evening and welcome to another Knee Jerk Reaction video review where I watch a movie and give you my review immediately after watching it. This is slightly off because I did watch the movie and then I got called into work so I'm sitting here at work with nothing to do so I'm going to make this movie review. Um, there will be spoilers so if you don't like spoilers uh, I suggest you stop watching now. I try not to give away like plot twist or anything like that but I do talk about the movie and may give away uh, parts of the plot or whatnot. So if you don't like spoilers, I would suggest you stop watching. Uh, this review is for The Endless, and this is on Netflix. And um, like I said, I watched this movie and I, I got called into work, so it's it's been maybe an hour or so. But uh, I wanted to review this movie because it was kind of a different movie for me. It was um, it was suggest it's been suggested in my list for quite some time now and I finally decided um, okay I'll watch it I'm really big into uh, these kind of indie sci-fi movies and uh, I wasn't disappointed I quite like this movie uh, this will be a positive review just so you don't get uh, anxious about how it's going to end up but um, so positive review uh, <laughs> but there are some things I didn't like so if, if you haven't seen this movie, it's about two brothers. Um, they uh, apparently spent time in, as their youth in a cult, and they escaped the cult. And one brother uh, was a little bit older, remembers more. The younger brother doesn't quite remember as much. Um, but he does remember that he was well-fed and taken care of. And right now they were like experiencing poverty. So he wanted to go back and visit the cult. Um, the other brother painted it as a death cult, uh, a UFO suicide cult and stuff. And uh, so, the, you know, he didn't want to go back. Uh, they showed newspaper clippings. Apparently there was a, you know, they enjoyed a little bit of celebrity after leaving the cult um, as escapees of a, of a suicide cult. Uh, they go back and they find everybody alive and healthy. And... Um, at first, everything's a little bit off, and as the movie progresses, you find out why things are a little bit off. Um, one of the things I'm going to point out that uh, I didn't care for in this movie, and I normally don't care for this in any movie, but in this movie, it seemed to work. And it's one of those weird things, like if I had to subtract three points for this issue, then I'm going to have to add three more points because it worked, so it's a wash. But it's still something... There were points in the movie where it was so evident, it took me, I'm like, why is, you know, if I have to stop, you know, because when you watch a movie, you immerse yourself in the movie and you're, and you're basically immersed in the story. But if, if there are points where you're reminded that you're watching a movie, to me that um, takes away from the movie experience. And that's this sepia tone, this washed out, it's almost like they filmed with, um, the brightness setting on too bright it's it's always kind of washed out and um it, it just has this weird look to it and normally this is like i said and it was a distraction there were points where i'm watching the movie and i'm like why is this movie so washed out and it, it takes takes me away from the movie experience um but then again Throughout the movie, there's this really uneasy feeling and there's this like pressure that there's something going on. And I think part of that was because of the way this visual was. And so, like I said, it's something I don't like. It's something that takes me out of the movie. But in this case, it seemed to work. And, um, you know, so like I said, it's minus three points for, for doing it, but plus three points for it working. So it's kind of a wash. So I'm kind of on the fence about that. Um, but overall, I mean, it, it's something you may not know. You might notice it now that I pointed it out. But man, this at points it was like so washed out. I'm just like, why? Why are they doing this? And and like I said, if it takes me out of the movie, um, to me that 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 might be an issue. Um, but then again, throughout the whole movie, my heart was like beating a little bit faster because I'm like, man, there's something going on here. And then you know, this kind of puts the pressure on it. So it kind of worked. Um, second, and, and this is something that, that happens in some movies, usually Stephen King movies. I, I hate, I hate to say this, but I've never seen a Stephen King movie I liked. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that 
at the end of the movie, they never explain anything. Just things are, and you have to accept, oh, this is the way things are. And um, I know people just rave about Stephen King movies, but I just, I've literally have never seen a Stephen King movie that I liked. Um, and this movie did a bit, and did a little bit of this where they didn't explain at the end. You never, you know, it's like when you have a monster movie, but you never see the monster. And, um, you know, like in Cloverfield, you kept, you keep getting glimpses of a leg or a foot or a face. And at the end, they kind of show the monster for a few seconds. And uh, it's really kind of unsatisfying. And in this movie, um, they hint at the monster. They kind of show what the monster does. At one point, you know, there's an overview of a strange shape in the lake. Uh, but they never really show what is going on. But... Like I said, this is a minus three points plus three points because it worked in this movie. At the end, you know, I'll, if I leave a movie and I'm like unsatisfied because I didn't see the monster, I'm unsatisfied because they didn't give an explanation. You know, some horror movies are like that where they just end it and they never tell you what the ghost was there for or what the demon was there for. Um, but this, and they didn't really explain this one, like where, where this thing came from or why it's there or, or you know, they did kind of hint, you know, there's a scene that shows that it's been there for, you know, at least since the 1800s. Um, but in this case, it worked. It did. It, uh, I was, I left satisfied and I felt okay that I didn't see the monsters. So it didn't take me out of the movie like the, the washed out uh, video imagery did. But at the end, I, you know, one of the things I, I thought about on the way to work was, you know, they never showed it, but I never felt like I had to see it. They they hinted at it. They had, like, people drawing pictures of what they think it looked like. Um, they showed, it, it's, you know, they showed that it was apparently intelligent. It interacted with uh, the people. It interacted with the movie. It, it communicated with the people. Um, so it, it had an intelligence. And that brings me to another point that normally... <laughs> something that that might take you out of the movie and that is internal inconsistency so if you set up a you know rules for your science fiction in science fiction you have to suspend you know you have to suspend belief uh, you know um, because science fiction is science fiction you know it's something that, that doesn't happen in real life it's like fantasy or but if you have internal rules and you, you know you set up these internal rules and then you break them um, but this movie, it had internal rules and some things I was wondering, you know, why some of these internal rules seem to be broken. But when you're dealing with an intelligent being that's actually controlling the action, you understood that maybe they changed your mind on something. Um, so there's these, these time loops and, and, um, you know, some people are saying you can't escape your time loop and then they showed points where the time loop ended and restarted, but... Um, I, I don't know, like the, the one guy who thought if he died at the right time, he could escape the time loop. And, um, so his, he existed twice in the same time loop. You know, his, his dead body was there and his live body was there, which seemed to break the rule that everything resets. Cause they did show later on two people dying in a fire, but then it reset and they were both alive again. Um, so, you know, what are the rules? And then... But when you're dealing with an intelligent creature that you know is playing with these people, um, you you might not understand the rule. And and some of it was like uh, at the end when when the brothers saw themselves entering the bubble as they were leaving the bubble. And of course, it's, it's a very dramatic moment. Um, but that didn't happen anywhere else. Nobody else saw themselves in their bubble. Um, but having said that, I mean, these are things that, that normally, like I said, normally bugs me in a movie, but it worked in this movie. Um, I did find the overall movie enjoyable. The acting was top-notch at no time that I believe I was watching actors. It does, you know, because some people, you know, <laughs> if you've seen my review, and I, for Artemis Fowl, and, and I've watched, I watched about 10 reviews for Artemis Fowl, and I thought, well, i got to watch this movie because there was no good reviews on it. And so I watched it and I gave my review and then I watched about 10 more reviews. And and one of the critiques was the actor that played Artemis Fowl just 
literally had a frozen face and did not act and just recited lines and you know that can take you out of a movie but this movie um generally people i've never heard of an indie film um usually are like that uh they showcase new talent and stuff uh, everybody was believable every character was believable every character in their situation was believable so the acting no problem with the acting great the writing the idea the story idea i, I liked it all it was a, a fairly good story um and it worked you know there were some things i didn't like about the story itself and like i said it was you know and some things like you're like why did that happen and you never really explain it but you're dealing with an intelligent creature that changes the rules so it kind of fit uh, like the guy in the tent um, his loop was extremely short apparently and then he exploded and I'm like why did he explode <laughs> and, you know maybe it was because he was trying to communicate with the guy and uh, in in his small eternal loop uh, and the creature didn't like that or you know you're assuming the, the guy in the shed ended up with two bodies instead of one body um, because he shot himself and then you hear him go oh damn it and like it didn't work again because <laughs> his loop reset but um, you know his loop reset before and his dead body was there with him and now he's got two dead bodies and his loop reset so like it, it I don't know it's just one of those things that everything even though there was like I don't know there was weird things they all worked that the inconsistencies worked because they worked within the consistency of the movie if that makes any sense um, it does do a good job of like making you go like what the hell is going on like when the rope goes up in the air when there's more than one moon and um, you know with these people trying to figure out what is happening you know why and it's you know it turns out it's not so much their cult they're just these people stuck in this time loop and um, you know at the end like I said it's an inconsistent again where they were driving out and the other they saw themselves driving in and you kind of hope like it, the movie ended at that point but you kind of hope like they came back with an army or something to say hey check this valley out it's probably the most incredible thing in human existence uh, let's investigate this and, you know if they can convince if they can convince an, an army guy to go back and he disappears and then they send more and more you know eventually it'll come out that this is happening um and who knows it you know they they showed it was kind of a blink of the eye thing but they showed uh like the extent of this thing's reach in the valley and uh you wonder could it go worldwide is it just this valley is it just this area um you know what exactly is going on here and um it, it just everything worked <laughs> there is one other thing at the beginning the pace was so slow i had to resist the urge to fast forward there were some i can't remember the name of the ghost story but it was so slow like it took 10 minutes for this woman to walk down the hallway and it wasn't because anything was happening it's just because they took 10 minutes to walk down this hallway and i would sit there and fast forward like she's got to be there <laughs> So there are some points that's really slow, but I, I resisted the urge to uh, fast forward. And I'm like, I'm going to get to the action, you know, and um, it just starts out kind of slow. But it, it just it's one of those movies that starts out slow, but then builds and builds and builds and builds. And um, so that that was kind of, again, in the context of the movie. Um, so minus three points and plus three points and you end up as a wash. So. Um, uh, this movie, I don't think it's for everybody. It might not even be for everybody who's into science fiction. And, um, but I, I thought it worked. I was pleasant. And again, if you watched any of my other reviews, my, my biggest uh, criteria for liking a movie is was I entertained? And I was. This was an entertaining movie. Um, it made me feel like I was watching a movie, though. But even though it was like perfectly acted, the set, I mean... You believed you were there in the desert with these people. Um, there was no inconsistencies with that. You, you just had this, and like I said, it, it might have been that sepia tone view where it's just like you're kind of knowing something's going on and your skin is crawling. You're like, what is it? And as they learn and they go on, and it's it just it, everything works. And um, 
like I said, uh, even the end, you know, even though you're left with, you never see the monster, you're left with, I'm satisfied that I never saw the monster. It worked. It, it was so well written that it worked that you never saw it. Um, so this is this is a paradox of a movie. It's a it's a good movie with issues, but the issues work within the movie. <laughs> if that makes any sense. So I do. This is a positive review. I, I would give this like eight or nine stars out of ten. Um, uh, and uh, I don't know what else to say about it. Uh, it. I would recommend it. It's on Netflix. It's one of those movies you need to sit down and watch. Though I wouldn't recommend. Uh, playing this movie while you're doing something else which is something I might do if the movie turns out to be not going well I might start doing something else while the movie's on um, like Artemis Fowl I, apparently I missed some plot points even though they were bad plot points <laughs> I missed some because I started messing with my security camera system while the movie was playing because the movie was just that bad but anyway this movie very entertaining I will recommend it I do give it thumbs up i do give it uh eight or nine stars out of ten um i will take away a star just for them reminding me that i'm watching a movie with the washed out uh with the washed out visual visuals um one thing i wondered about though is like you know there's these pillars in the movie i just want to know what would happen if you know they kicked one over because <laughs> they're you know the pillars obviously define the boundaries of these time loops and um I just wanted to see a character like snap one off and and see what happens or you know break one push one down and, and that never happened in the movie but that, all through the movie I'm like break one of these stupid things off you know use it as a club do something because <laughs> um, every character saw them every character knew about them and I think by the end every character knew what they were there for um, but you know I would be the type to say, hey, if I'm stuck in this time loop and these things are wrong, maybe I'll start snapping these things off and see what the deal is. And no character ever thought of that, apparently. And um, that kind of bugged me. I'm like, God, I just want to see him snap that off. Um, but no, uh, I might be, it may sound like this is a negative review because so I'm saying bad things about it, but no, it's a good movie. Uh, I do recommend it. Um, it's called The Endless on Netflix. Uh, it looks like a low-budget science fiction, but it, if it was low-budget, you would have no idea. Everything worked in the movie. Um, yeah, I, I can't I can't think of anything else. I mean, I can't think of anything really bad to say don't watch this movie because of this. It just was a good movie. So go ahead and watch it on Netflix the endless and i'm going to wrap it up and get back to work and uh hopefully do another one of these soon